Cry. Don't let a man bottle their emotion there. They are broken and they cannot speak out. They are wounded and they cannot speak out because with the society telling them, shut up, men don't cry. Shut up, you know, be man. No, men cry. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. My name is Augusta Good. Thank you guys for stopping by to watch my video. I really appreciate everyone of you. So this video you just watched now, drew my attention i saw it on instagram it's been on instagram since morning and i decide like okay let me talk about this video because after seeing this video i saw cora's husband come up came up again to talk about how cora cheated on uh, him when they were still married just before they had their last child that was before their breakup and reading through the comment section from both videos i saw that nigeria women are trying to shut the men up like shut up you be man shut up you too what do you do shut up you know they are shutting justin up they are shutting this guy up let me start from this guy this guy you just watched now said he trained a woman he assisted the woman to go to school when the woman graduated after the woman graduated the woman said brother you're not rich anymore and then the woman stepped and moved to the next man see We've been hearing this issue, not be today, it starts. It happened for man, it happened for woman. So it's not gender-based. It happened for man, it happened for woman. We've heard of women who stood for their boyfriend to go to school. And at the end of the day, the, the man will say, you are no longer my type. You can no longer match up with me. You are this. Your English is that. You are not Polish. You are not posh. You are not elegant. I can't have you anymore because I can't take you out. You don't fit into my circle anymore. They dump the woman and pick someone else who is um, um, their level, in quotes. We've heard it before. And we've, we've heard of men who also have assisted women when they were going to school, pay school fees, buy hand that, do this, pay transport, pay for accommodation, did everything, thinking that they are preparing their future wife. But at the end of the day, the woman end up dumping them. Not be today with a hear story, but my people make one parable. They say, I'm here one when you what people experience is the best teacher no be your it doesn't have to be your own experience you can be you can learn from other people's experience that is why you see people doing videos like this that is why you see people posting things on social media that is why we hear stories that is why when our parents are telling us something they tell us with stories when you hear stories like this it helps you to plan yourself it helps you to think fast you understand so when you know that you're going to um, stand for a man or a woman to do anything. As that man, they go. You too, they go. <laughs> yes. When a man is building up himself, you too, you should build up yourself. When a woman is building up herself, you too, you should build up yourself. Because it's not everybody. Some people may want to like, okay, come back to that person they left. Obviously, when the person goes to school, the circle will change. The thinking will change. The mentality will change. Everything about that person will change. And 100 out of, 110 out of 100, the person may not want to come back to that person they have left. A lot of things may have changed. Do you understand? So there's a great percentage for that woman. The ones will be say. They get their own agenda. And uh here, -huh. maturity says, see, they come into this thing. So most times now, younger people, now they do this thing. Not be older people. Those young 20 years, 18 years, 25 years, old, 25 years, self, uh -huh. old girls, now they do this thing. You know? So training a woman, training a man, assisting a woman, assisting a man, when you are, when they are working on themselves, you too, you should be working on yourself. That way, the two of you. Okay, let me use, let me not use that scenario. Let me use, let me, let me drive the point home more. See, in everything you do, make sure that you have something of value. When I mean something of value, like us in the abroad, now certificate is not the main cocoa. It doesn't have to be certificate. There are other things. It doesn't have to be certificate. You don't have to have a BSc, a master's or a PhD to make it in the abroad. You can make it in the abroad without certificate. You get it. So make sure you have something of value. Something will be say, when person see him, you know, go feel let's go. Make sure you are valuable. Make sure you have something you are bringing to the table. 
when I say something you are bringing to the table, I am not asking about money. It doesn't have to be money. Some people bring their intellect. Some people bring their prayers. Some people bring their love. Some people bring, when I say love, I'm not a soul, boom. It doesn't have to be that. Some people bring their peace. Some people bring different things they bring to the table. Men cause alone, not being the dead table. Some people don't go fit up men cause without they not drink water, as small as water where they inside glass cup. You understand? So make sure you are bringing something into that relationship. Make sure you are bringing something to the table, something that cannot be found easily elsewhere. Obo can be found easily elsewhere. Eh? A woman in between is there everywhere. It can be found easily elsewhere. So make sure that is not the only thing you are bringing. When you are bringing that one, you should be bringing brains too. You should be bringing spiritual, something spiritual, physical, and a mental. Do you understand? That way, it will be hard for somebody to just pick you and toss you outside the window. Nowadays, I hear when people say, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Women think they are asking about money. No. They still throw women away, get money away. Haven't you seen? Have you still heard? There goes woman where she get money, man go see what can live on, throw live on. Go meet one woman where they be say, not seen it yet. Because the thing where that woman they bring to the table is different from the thing where you they bring to the table. So you go look this person life. This person where I want assist to stand. This person where I want assist to do this thing. What can I bring that this person may not easily find somewhere else? You go ask yourself. Now let's go to the story of Justin and Cora. I see people say, shut up, you are too toxic. Shut up, you are... Don't tell this man to shut up. Right from the onset, I've been on Justin's side. I don't know why, but for some reasons, I've been on Justin's side. Do I not say Justin self nasty, uh, 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 agbaya sometimes. But you know, sometimes when somebody is emotionally bruised, there are things that the person will do that naturally, normally, you don't expect the person to do. Justin has seen on agbaya. However, now something make and they behave like that. Somebody was saying the other day, I saw a comment. Somebody said, um, okay, before I say that, let me say, say what Justin brought to social media. He brought evidence to show that Cora has been cheating on him. He said that when Cora Gebele, when she was pregnant with their last child, Cora traveled to Nigeria and Cora had an affair or had something to do with a friend's fiance. Cora went to Nigeria for our friend's wedding five months pregnant and slept with this woman's fiance. So she was sleeping around while pregnant with my child and I saw the text messages that they took from his phone. And here, and here they are. I removed names to protect the people that told me about this. Seems like you've improved your skills. Core, did you just insult me? Abi, boo, whatever. Um, it feels like you were reaching my womb. Okay. It felt like hopes I didn't tamper with Justin's unborn baby, Athena. Nah, the baby. So I was upset because I found out that my ex-wife had been sleeping around while pregnant with our daughter, which is very risky business, which, you know, like, like you get an STD or something while you're pregnant, that's a big deal. Um, not only that, while she was pregnant, after she came back from Nigeria, she confided in me that she didn't think the kid was mine. So I found out that she had been sleeping around while pregnant with my child and then she told me the child most likely wasn't mine? Of course I'm going to have a very visceral and emotional reaction. I think she probably said that to me so that she could get the reaction, record it, to put it on social media. But I'm a human being. I said what I said because of what I found out and what I was told. And my, my, my plan was I was leaving. There was no way I was staying with her. Um, my plan was to leave when Athena was three months old, but I just, I just, I was done. I just, 
I didn't care what people thought. I didn't care. I needed to protect my kids and raise them in a healthy living environment. They sent evidence to Justin, and that was what triggered his decision when their last child became three months. I said this thing before when they had that breakup. I said this man did not just make up his mind today to have a breakup with Cora. I'm coming. I, I, I'm dry. I need a cup of tea or something. I'm coming. Just give People, whether man or woman, they don't just wake up one day and say, I'm not doing it again. It's something that will trigger them to say, you see this thing? I'm no longer doing it again. And one thing that I know about all this or you vote them, when they are in love, they are fully in love. And when they are tired, eh? Once they they work they don't they care what they happen, then they move on. How can you expect this man to continue? Even without all those ones, self, all those things, make I not condemn Cora, make I just leave that Cora uh, 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 part. But you know, I like I was saying again, I saw somebody who wrote on uh, social media that uh, that um Justine, uh, Cora, wa Cora was a big girl when she met when Justine met her, and uh, Cora was already on a, a street of social media. Cora was already making so much money. Justine was the one who leashed on Cora and made money from Cora. If not for Cora, we wouldn't have no Justine. You come here again, or you act or you Now somebody, now they wear person masquerade. A masquerade does not dress up on its own. Somebody assists somebody to put on masquerade. Definitely, from one person we we'll meet another person, and we we'll know one person from another person however um justin has been supporting cora before now and we all know that justin has been supporting cora cora was not that super rich and it's not even super rich now how much cora gets people keep saying she's rich she's rich do you know how much she's making she's rich she's that she's rich she's rich and she's on the media every day asking for money begging for money to fund her uh, uh cut uh, whatever she's begging for money every every minute well, let's leave that apart. But I'm not here to bash Cora. Not to, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for this evening to say, you guys should allow this man speak. Who that book, how can you know if you will hit a child and tell the child not to cry. You will hit a child and teach the child the rhythm of the child's cry. Let them speak. Whoever is hot, let him speak. Whether it is a man uh, or a woman, let them speak. That may be a way. One of the ways they heal. Let them speak. You can't say, no, 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 no. Keep quiet. You are a man. Men don't cry. Mothers, allow your sons to share, to, to, to show emotions. Let, if they want to cry, let them cry. If they want to laugh, let them laugh. Don't teach them how to cry. Don't teach them how to laugh. Let them do it the way they want to do it. Let them cry the way they want to cry. Let them laugh the way they want to laugh. Don't let them have bottle their emotion. They're, they are broken and they cannot speak out. They are wounded and they cannot speak out because with the society telling them, shut up. Men don't cry. Shut up. You know, be mad. No, men cry. Men, they cry. Now, the same heart now we get. They are broken. They are injured. They are bruised. Let them speak out. See that man that was crying like a baby. The woman, Masham, she has to cry out. Let them speak out. When a man speak out, just the way we are supporting women, we should also support them too. They are human. Remember, you have a father, you have a brother, you have a brother-in-law. You have men in your, in your family too. Think of it. If somebody deal with your brother like that, you go like him. That is what I keep saying when the uh, current uh, uh, Justin matter starts. I say somebody deal with your brother like this, you go like him. And also I go say, hey, what about the woman? But see, now she committed now. She did something now. Cora, if you come out and talk, say, okay, Justin, while we are in the marriage, uh, Justin did this. As in, Justin did the same thing that, he, that um, Justin came out with evidence to show her that she did. She may not like the night she come outside, collect all her money, they go do holiday. Unado, please, you guys should allow the men speak. Let them speak, please. Don't shut them up. When they want to speak, a man who have, who, who have been able to gather power, eh? gather power, say, what come out, come talk. You won't come cry out. You people should let them cry out. Let them speak. And let us support them the way we are supporting women. When a woman comes to cry out to me, I don't say shut up. I don't judge them. They say, well, we shouldn't judge this man. We should let them speak out. Many men, are dying silently. Please, let's save our society and let's save our tomorrow. Allow them to speak. Mothers, I repeat, teach your children, especially your male child. With all this why, 
from generation to generation, it is it has been only the woman they've been preparing for him for him, for homes or for marriage or for family. We prepare from the moment a woman is born, we start preparing them for their nest for their family. Do this so that your husband will like you. Do this so that you will have a good man to marry. Do this so that you can take care of your children very well. Nobody prepares a man for marriage. The man is prepared for marriage by looking at what is happening in the society, happening around them. And what did they see? They saw another toxic man dealing with their mother. They saw another man who does not know how to express love dealing in their home. They saw another man who is like this in their home. And they grew up to be like this. They grew up not knowing how to show love. It come up with our, with our robot brothers. They don't know how to show love. Our Asian brothers, they don't know how to show love. You hardly see an Asian man kissing the wife. How? You hardly see an robot man holding the wife's hand or kissing the wife or showing emotions. How? The way they show love is different from the way others show love. They are all kind of love until they cause person. See, yeah, your office. That's how they show love. Nonsense. They take character. It is well, though. Now, yeah, I want to do this video, Rich. Let me hear your comment in the comment section. What do you think? Should we allow the men speak or we should not allow them speak? Should we shut them up? Because man is not a man is not supposed to cry. A man is not supposed to be seen as weak. A man is not supposed to show emotions. Are you for or against it? Let me see you in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching my video. I do appreciate it. You have a nice day.